Yeah, I mean, I, I interviewed uh, Bill Duke mm -hmm. recently. And, uh, you know, I was watching some of his other interviews, and he was talking about how Hollywood has a, a culture of rejection. Oh, yeah. And, and it's not, you know, you have to learn how to kind of deal with it because a lot of times it's not even personal, where you can come in for a reading and you'll kill it. You'll be better than everybody, and it comes back to the execs and they say, this person doesn't have an international audience. So I don't care how good the read was we got to go with someone else. Yeah. And, and the person gets turned down and they don't know why. And, you know, he also talked about how women are at a, a disadvantage in All the industry. All women. All women, meaning that, you could have an, <clears throat> meaning that you could have an older man be a, be in a, like in a romantic type film as a lead, but women, like middle-aged women, who are cast in those types of roles is few and far between. It's true. Um, you know, we talk about black actresses and um, actresses of different ethnicities, but being a woman in Hollywood is extremely hard because everything is about the body and the face. Mm. It's, um, you can be fabulous and, you know, be older, but they don't really write like, I'm in a very weird age right now. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily look how old I am. Um, so I, I don't really get the roles of my natural age. And I try to get younger and they'll be like, she's too old. So it's it's weird. But um, it's you just got to find something, you know. But being a woman is very hard because that you it's like them buying a new car. It's beautiful and shiny when it leaves the lot, but after a few years, I'm gonna trade it in for a, a, a newer one, which is mm -hmm. a younger one and one more fresh, you know? That's part of the business though. And you have to have a very hard shell in order to, to be okay with that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you don't have any children? No. Was there a reason why or just? I think um, now it's become a reason why I just didn't, my mother had me when she was 15. Oh, wow. So, and yeah, I need to clear that up for everybody that thinks I have a sister named Tracy Jones. <laughs> she's a talented actress, but she's not my sister. My mother would have been nine having Tracy, by the way. Anyway, I have two younger brothers. I'm the only girl. My mom had me when she was 15. She got pregnant at 14, had me when she was 15. Um, I was told by some family members and, and people that, just looked down on my mom because she was a teen mother mm -hmm. that I was going to be like her and that it was going to be worse. I would be young and pregnant and have a bunch of kids with a whole bunch of different men. So hearing that uh -huh. kind of just messed with me and I did everything to do the opposite. To, to avoid having yes. kids young. Where is your father? Um, my dad lives in Louisiana now. Um, was he in your life early no. on? Oh, okay. No, he, well, he was, was not. Was he a teenager as well? No. Here's the short but sweet story. Uh, mom's 14. She was always uh, more womanly as a young girl than somebody her age. Um, met my dad. He was friends with one of her siblings. I can't remember which one. He was 21. First time having sex, she got pregnant. Me, he wanted to marry her. My family, my mom, I mean, my grandma and my grandfather told him, uh, you might want to leave and not ever want to come back here. She's not marrying you. And the reason they told me was because they were afraid that he would get with her and mistreat her. And, and, you know, once she got away from the family, they didn't want any part of that, you know, plus he's too old for her. Um, so he was in and out and then he left. And I recently got a hold of him. Cause I was one of those girls that was like, I need to know my dad. I, you know, I really want to know who this man is and, and why did he leave? I have questions. I talked to him a few times and I realized that, that God knows what he's doing. And it was a blessing that that man was not in my life. I don't think I would have become who I am today. He would have hindered that, his train of thoughts. Well, 14 and 21, that's, Statutory rape. That's pretty, the pretty other much in every. Why. I mean, in every state, <laughs> I believe, even back then. Yeah. Um, you know, like I, I know, for example, uh, there, there's a rap artist down south. 
uh, a Texas artist named SPM, South mm -hmm. Park Mexican. Um, and I interviewed a, an artist that was closely associated with him. And the story he told me was that, you know, his SPM was, you know, going platinum, was the biggest artist in the area. He met a girl at a strip club and they had sex and she got pregnant. She ended up being 13. And they had a baby. And then some years later, this was found out. And he's doing like 25, 30 years in prison. So something Jesus. of that sort. Once they check the DNA, right. and they confirm the age difference. This is kind of a similar situation where technically your father could be charged today with with that uh, you know with, with statutory rape. Well, do, you, do you think about that at all? I do, and I, I feel like my grandparents did him a huge favor by telling him to leave and never come back. Don't don't ever think about her again. So in essence, they were the ones who were like. No, he, it wasn't his choice to leave. So once I was okay with that, I, and I realized this is statutorial rape, so, okay, God, <laughs> what, you know, like, what is my life supposed to be? So when everyone else is playing and, and um, you know, thinking about prom dates, I'm like, how am I gonna make some money? Cause mm -hmm. I need to have this kind of life, you know? Um, it grew me up a lot quicker and it made me want to provide for my mom and and make things easier for her and my, my two younger brothers. Um, okay, you had two siblings. Yeah.